What's up guys, Sahaman back, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new, long awaited for me, we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs. This is Pennywise the Clown. Now the reason why I'm so happy and hyped for this, one, Pennywise the Clown, you guys know I'm a huge IT fan, the biggest one in the world. Second, McFarlane Toys, actually three things. Third, Movie Maniacs are back. I, they've been back for a while, but this is, ever since he relaunched Movie Maniacs, this is the first one that I've picked up. So I'm pretty hyped to see this. Now I know these are pre-posed figures, so I'm really anxious to see how this is gonna hold up. And uh, it says here, includes collector card with stand, and it comes with a bonus item. Now I'm pretty sure all of them come with bonus items. So this is limited to 10,700 pieces. It says authenticated limited edition movie maniacs. And in the back, it does have a display of the knee bolt house, which is pretty cool. And I believe this is based off of, I don't know if this is based off of it chapter two. It could be just the, nope, it's chapter two. All right, so there's the side. You got an open window. And then right there, it does read WB100, if you can see that. Sorry about the glare. Movie Maniacs. And then the back, there is an awesome image here of Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise the Clown. So let's open this guy up. And we're also going to do a comparison with this one and a NECA Pennywise the Clown. So let's see if this is a pickup or a pass. Okay, let's go ahead and see what comes in the packaging. Now, first off, you have the little I guess this is the surprise that you get and it's got question marks all over it. It's in a little box, but from what I've seen from the previous Movie Maniacs from the relaunch, I think they're posters. So pretty sure that's gonna be a poster. You also have the collectible card, which I think that, yep, it says it right there. This is the, it's gonna be numbered. I think it's numbered on the back. So you got Pennywise the Clown and he is kind of like tilted to the side. Come to the back, Certificate of Authenticity. So this is number 6,623 out of 10,700. So there is that, and then you also get a display stand, and it says WB100, IT Chapter 2 in a silver color, and then the card is just gonna go on just like that, which is a nice touch, I do like that. And then you also have the backdrop, which is the Kneebolt House, which looks pretty cool. So it's printed pretty nice and it's got a curve to it and that's because of the the stands that it comes with so it does come with these two little clear stands and then we have the mystery box so let's go ahead and open this up and then we'll get into we'll take a look at pennywise so again i'm pretty sure oh no it's not a poster what what the heck is this oh it's fortune cookies it took me a minute to actually that that is cool. I honestly would have preferred um uh posters but or a poster like a miniature poster but this is really funny. This is actually I mean, I guess you can just display this on to on the display base. I had no idea what this was at first. So that is you get a bowl of fortune cookies. I think what would have made that better is if it had like eyeballs and like legs coming out of them. Now for the little displays, these plastic things, you literally just slide on the top and the bottom and then it holds in place pretty well. So there's really nothing to it when it comes to standing that up. So put all the accessories to the side and we shall bring out Pennywise the Clown. And this guy here looks pretty cool. It doesn't look as detailed as I would have wanted it compared to the previously previous movie Maniacs. It does look... I mean, I'm a McFarlane fan, but it does look a little bit cheap. But I mean, it's still cool to have. I mean, that head sculpt there, if you can even see that, looks pretty good. It kind of resembles Pennywise. He's got the a lot of little, lot of little sharp teeth there. Does he have the cracks in the forehead? He does have the cracks in the forehead. And then the hair looks pretty good. The outfit is pretty on point. I do like the pose that he's in. Again, these do not have any articulation. You can see he's got like a little bit of a staircase there. A little bit, you got the stairs in the back, the floorboards right here, or the, or the base, I guess you can say. It's got like a lot of weeds, and it does read It Chapter 2, and you have some flowers on there and some some like dead grass. So it's, a, it's an interesting base. It is pretty interesting, and it's an interesting pose that they put him in too. Um, again, this guy is not going to have any articulation whatsoever, but he does have some weathering to him. I also think he did the suit maybe just a little bit too dark i don't know it looks almost brown ah i still like it though but it is it is a little bit of a letdown and let's go ahead and look at the the shoes 
So he got these right. They do look good. But I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys like the head sculpt? Sorry about the lighting here too. It's not the best lighting I have today. But it does, I don't know. I think it looks cool. Could have been better. Could have been a lot taller too. I mean, this right here is gonna give you a scale so you can see the color differences with the NECA one. I mean, look at the color. The color is just really off. This, it, this makes it look really cheap, the McFarlane one. And I mean, the size difference. So the scale on this is really, really small. I honestly thought this was gonna be maybe like a, like the figure itself would have been like six to seven inches, but he's not. He's definitely a lot smaller. And there you go, guys. There's my quick little review. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs. We have Pennywise the Clown from It Chapter 2. This is something that I was super hyped ever since it was announced, but it honestly was a little bit of a letdown. The sculpt is fine. I think the paint apps on this should have been a little bit lighter, and I wish the guy was a little bit taller, but it does come with an awesome you know, really cool little accessory here of the fortune cookies that you can just put on the base, the collectible card, and the cool backdrop. So I will give it a good, you know, a plus on the positives, but it does have some issues with it. So guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If this is a pickup, is it a pass? And do you guys own any of the other movie maniacs that have came out recently? And if you do, let me know your thoughts on those. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate every one of you. We'll see you soon. Later.